Hello, in today's video, I want to go over one of my most recent airsoft build, the EFMG9. My choice of airsoft gun must have a sense of realism. It doesn't matter what power it runs on. After I have tried an airsoft gun with a fully functional boat group and have an accurate representation of real firearm functionality and recoil, I can never go back to regular electric airsoft guns. For that reason, I invested in a GDLS HK416D as my choice of primary weapon. However, it's not 100% fit in all scenarios, especially in my case. The nearest airsoft field is two hours away if I take the train. One backpack is all I can carry with me. So there's a very harsh weight and size limitation on what I can carry with each game. Thus, I have been looking for a short SMG style platform that fits all my requirements dedicated for CQB games, while it can fit in my backpack with the other essential gears. And then I saw this new FMG9 kit coming out of the South Korean market. I got my FMG9 kit for $416 from Japan with the help of my Japanese friend Kakashi and the HPA adapter for Tokyo Marie gas mag from JV Tactical for $90. I chose the MP5 variant of the HPA adapter specifically for that slim look. It always bothers me to see a M4 mag attached to a pistol caliber gun, just too unrealistic. The FMG9 kit itself is very well made and it takes no effort to drop the hammer group in the kit and put the slide on. I have my tank set to 100 PSI, it shoots around 300 FPS with 0.2 gram BBs and the shooting experience is just pure satisfaction. I added a couple more accessories to this build to accommodate my personal usage. Hydra mount designed by GDRS is a great choice for a small package like this. And it fit surprisingly well on this platform, making three accessory slots available for me to use, then only two with the original rail. I drilled two holes to add a Mac 4 slain attach point on the left side of the store. This way I can slain it with my Feral Concept single point slain when I'm not using it. And it won't block its folding capability at the same time. But do notice that if you're making a similar build and want to add a slain point on the side of the gun like what I did, don't forget to make those holes slightly far away from the center, so it won't be blocking the cycle of the slide. And there I have it. The build is completed and I don't need to make any changes on my old ABS. Quite carry to make my loadout work with this build. Here are some of the latest gameplay footage I have captured running with this FMG9. Do enjoy.
Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. very compact and is really easy to maneuver with in confined space. Perfect option for close and medium range engagement. It does have a relatively long trigger reset, but I can still achieve a pretty high fire rate once I get used to it. And above all, it's really fun to play with such a sophisticated platform. What do you think about this FMG9 build? Leave a comment below and thank you for watching this video.